I'm honored to appear before you today as President Obama's nominee to be the next U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of Estonia. I'm deeply grateful to the President and to Secretary Clinton for the confidence and trust they have placed in me. If confirmed, I will uphold that trust by advancing America's interests in Estonia and commit myself to work closely with this committee, your staff, and your congressional colleagues. Together with my wife, Hallie, our daughter, Lindsay, our son, Nicholas, the Polt family is once again excited about the prospect of yet another opportunity to serve our great nation overseas. <clears throat> While only Hallie and I will actually be moving to Estonia, if I am confirmed, our family over more than 30 years of diplomatic life has learned to be together even when we are apart. For an even longer time, Madam Chair, over 50 years, successive U.S. administrations refused to acknowledge the Soviet Union's illegal and forcible occupation of Estonia. The regular statements of support that came from the United States served as a beacon of hope for Estonians caught behind the Iron Curtain. Since 1991 and the reestablishment of Estonia's independence, each American president and every Congress have provided generously in assistance and in expertise so that Estonia could transform itself from a Soviet satellite to Baltic Tiger. Estonia is now a modern, democratic, free market success story. Even before it became a NATO ally in 2004, Estonia never hesitated to join us in sending its sons and daughters into harm's way in support of our shared objectives. Today, Estonian troops operate without caveats in southern Afghanistan, with more than 13 percent of its armed forces deployed abroad in NATO operations. Estonia has one of the highest deployment percentages in the alliance. It has paid a high price for this service, as demonstrated in August when two Estonian soldiers were killed in an IED attack in Helmand province. Estonia has seen a severe fall in its GDP this year as a consequence of the global economic downturn. If confirmed, I will work closely with U.S. and Estonian businesses to promote trade and help create jobs in both of our countries. Estonia is eager to share and develop together with us new innovations to deter cybercrime, protect digital property, and provide e-government solutions. Among the first nations to become the victim of orchestrated attacks on its digital networks in 2007, Estonia's cooperative cyber defense center is now a NATO center of excellence. If confirmed, I will work to contribute American know-how to this important endeavor. In energy, while Estonia is a net exporter of electricity to its large oil shale reserves, oil shale is also highly polluting. Estonia is taking a proactive approach to its energy needs while not losing sight of the fact that energy security requires both diversity of supply and clean energy. We want to support these efforts. The United States welcomes Estonia's efforts to also build strong communal relations among all Estonians, including the country's sizable Russian-speaking population. If confirmed, I intend to utilize new media resources to better reach out to all Estonians, and especially Estonia's Russian-speaking youth. Madam Chair, Senator DeMint, the history of relations between the American people and Estonians is one of trust and mutual support. Just as we kept the faith with Estonia during a difficult past, Estonians today are at our side as we meet common challenges and seize joint opportunities. I'm ready to further advance the important partnership and warm friendship between our two countries. Thank you again for allowing me to appear before you today, and I look forward to your questions.